heard that you say that you were a private entity, and I acknowledge that you are a private entity. Uh, but I also heard Stephen say that you're subject to 91A, which I find yeah. interesting. How is it, as a private entity, that you're subject to 91A? We are a quasi-governmental entity as, as that comes under uh, the right to know law. Mm -hmm. From a corporate legal perspective, we're just a, I can't remember the statute, but under, under some statute, we are created under that statute, and that's structurally how we are formed. So but because the revenues come from governments, that gives us the quasi-governmental status, right. which so, has... So it's actually because you have an enormous percentage of your revenue coming from the government. Yeah. That's what requires you to conform to 91A. There's a Supreme yeah. Court case. Right. Ten years ago? Was it that long? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> came out and said, yeah, you have to follow the, the uh, aspects of 91A, and we do. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. of the funding, yep. uh, percentage mm -hmm. of funding yep. you receive from government, much like Rockingham Planning Commission Absolutely. would be the same kind exactly. of thing, right? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to get everyone to be on board yep. with that particular point.